people don't want to see us lose face. So let's say, you know, that you're in an interview mm-hmm. and, and you, you're feeling a little nervous, you're feeling a little awkward, and, and you say something, maybe you stumble over your words, or there's just something a little, you begin to sweat, something a little bit awkward. The other person is going to do everything in their power to minimize the risk of embarrassment to you. Because if you get embarrassed, they get embarrassed, right? So that's the weird thing about awkwardness is that not only do we not want to seem awkward, but we don't want to be in the room when anybody feels awkward. You know what I mean? Because that's what cringing is. Cringing is witnessing somebody else's humiliation. And we just, we just can't stand it. So we'll do everything in our power to, uh, to avoid it. There's a famous example I give in one of the second, I think this is the first or second video I made on YouTube. I talk about President Bush, the first President Bush, who was president in the 90s, mm-hmm. flew to Japan on a state visit, right? So he goes to Japan, he sits down to a state dinner with the, the prime minister of Japan, right? There's TV cameras, there's hundreds of, of ambassadors and all these people there. It's a completely formal thing. And something had happened to the president. He had eaten something and gotten food poisoning or he got the flu, but he had to, he had to vomit. He had to throw up. So in the middle of the state dinner with the cameras rolling, he leans over and he throws up right in the lap of the Japanese prime minister. So it's the most humiliating thing you can imagine. So they obviously the secret service comes, they hustle him off the stage. If you Google this, you can find a video of, of this happening. You know, uh-huh. President Bush throws up on Japanese prime minister, you'll find it. But so this happened. And the next day, of course, he just had food poisoning, he was fine. The next day, they do a news conference. And some Japanese reporter asks, you know, what do you think about what happened to the president yesterday at dinner or something like that? And the prime minister basically pretends like it didn't happen, you know, because you don't draw attention to someone else's humiliation.